God is in me, through me, for me, and with me. Where there's God, there's no imperfection. We're out here and it's cloudy, it's rainy, but it's still a beautiful day. We're at the park. Usually, I'll see some kids running around, having fun, enjoying life, not worried about bills, not worried about taxes, not worried about who's in office, but just really appreciating life. And you know, I like to come out here a lot of times so that I can look at the park and really think back to childhood or when there was no worries, no confusions. You were just out there just having a good time. And I realized we can learn a lot from children because when you were a child, you really understood that life was a playground. Whether you were at the playground or whether at home, you were able to create any environment you wanted to live in just by using your imagination, just by using visualization. I remember, and Stephanie probably won't like to hear this, my fiance, but when I was a child, I remember one time having a playground wedding and I fake married, you know, this girl that I liked and got her like a little rubber band to put around her ring. It was a whole little ceremony. We actually did peck on the, on the lips a little bit. You know what I mean? The teachers, the teachers weren't watching. And, you know, but it felt real. It felt real in the moment. And, you know, although it wasn't real and we not carrying the same last name, hopefully, right? Hopefully she's not somewhere else carrying the same last name. We still really, you know, were able to really enjoy that moment. And, you know, that's, that's something random. However, it's still a great lesson on, you know, some of the innocence that we lost. And somehow, somewhere along the way, we, we dimmed our light, whether it be high school, college, somewhere along the way, a lot of us stopped creating. We, we stopped imagining. We stopped that whole idea, maybe because of, you know, peer pressure. Maybe we wanted to fit into a certain crowd. You get into a school and you start kind of getting weaved in and out. You kind of become cattle. You kind of go towards, you know, trying to find a job, a nine to five, you know, it's exactly the way that we're kind of ushered along in life. And you realize that you've kind of fallen further and further away from your inner child, you know, your inner spirit, something that we knew as children was to be free and to create the life we wanted to live. And essentially it's the same thing. When you use your imagination, you think of Rugrats, think of Rugrats and they had all these adventures in their little, in their little cot or their backyard. And, you know, we were able to watch them grow old, you know, but we were able to see how the parents looked at them and they're just talking like babies and they're just in their little playpen, but how they envisioned it, they had a whole dinosaur riding on his back and saving the world and all of that good stuff. And it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's lessons like those that we, we need to get back to. We need to, you know, what I like to do is to wake up in the morning write down what I want to do that day, breathe in that energy, feel it, feel the emotions of it, see it on the other side, see what it looks like, visualize it, and really go out and create. Just like you are as a child. You know, visualize you're on the basketball court, you're a little kid in the playground and you want to do it. You visualize yourself doing it. And a lot of times it ends up manifesting. Now, for whatever reason, a lot of times it doesn't manifest exactly how we want it to. That's how life is sometimes, but you still are understanding the, the main principles of it as a child. And I think we can learn a lot from that. So if you're listening, go out and create. We are all co-creators of our existence. Have fun again doing it. I, I never once believed that we came onto this earth in order to work nine to fives and be in perpetual slavery. And, you know, you had to say, you know, once you got a certain age, oh, we're adults now. Now it's time to be unhappy. Now it's time for the real life. No, the real life is how we came into it. The real life is how we leave when we get retired and we're just cooling out. That's real life. We jump into this whole system and lose track of what's real. And we put ourselves in this box and we got to learn to get back out of that box. And so 
live your life, go create, have fun doing it. Remember your inner child, listen to him, because him or her, because they know what's up. God is in me, through me, for me, and with me. And where there's God, there's no imperfection. I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.